welcome to Akihabara. Wait, is it zoomed in? No. Akihabara. Ta -da. I might have to auto focus. Here. You might hear the lens moving. You might hear a lot of things. <laughs> Ta da! Game ass. Game ass. So, what's uh, Akihabara, Kate? We went to Akihabara last no, year, I'm, man. I'm trying to get you to inform the viewers. Uh, it's like supposedly tech district, but now turned into anime district. So pink. Oh man. There's so much noise on the street. I think um, many of the holy crap. Many of the shops are open at 11 or 10:30. So it's quite early in uh, right now. It's like 10, 10 30 or something. Yeah, 10, 30 maybe. 10 30 right now. I remember last year we got here at like 9 a.m. and then there was like nothing. Here, let's go to Sega. Sure. Oh no, we have to wait for so long. You remember uh, this place, Kate? We looked at the sign and it's like fourth floor is like men only. Oh yeah, Love Mercy. Yeah, it's like men and women, okay. But then oh, when you get to the good. top floor. Like nah. Yeah, men only. Men's good. That's how, that's the way it should be. Men's good, men's good, couples good, custom lingerie, fetish. I don't want uh, I don't want women looking at men's goods. Men only please. So we're going to this one. Sega. Oh, we got our 3DS capture card. Um, we thought it's gonna take like at least two hours, two to four hours, but it was, they, they just gave us that one it that like was like done already. Less than 10 minutes. Yeah, they're just like, here you go. So I'm like, oh, like I thought we were gonna get installed right now. I'm like, nope, uh, here you go. Okay, what is the big blue sign on the Sega building? Um, it's an advertisement. It's like mansion gallery? Is it, is it like... No! <laughs> mansion! You like house, mansion, gallery? I think um, probably, I don't know, house related? I'm not sure. Why do you have to embarrass me like this, Ryan? Well, no, I just uh, I want some context. I didn't realize there were ads for other things. I thought they might be like a game that's in the arcade. No. Small streets. Oh, it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. This is our first day and it's starting to rain. Here. Ta da! We're gonna play some gacha stuff. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, reach in my right pocket. I don't know how to Kate, I'm the world's worst focuser. Uh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh. Come on, this gotta be it. <laughs> it didn't do anything! It didn't do anything! There, there goes our life savings. This feline devil is gonna haunt me in my dreams. Oh, Wait, maybe I will just have to like press to the front instead? This is a troubling exercise in human psychology. Oh! oh. They're like tourists. <laughs> Attracted to us. I think that's what, what I was doing is totally wrong. Come on. 
<laughs> All right, my wife. Let me try one. No, okay, just just give me one. My thing like a little bit back. Oh, that might do it. I don't know. I don't think it will do anything. Oh, hey! Oh, it's stuck there. Oh, it's hanging on by a thread. I think this is this is definitely it. <laughs> this seems uh wait. <laughs> wait. You can try asking it depends on if that qualifies. <laughs> you should try it again. <laughs> no way, I'm bailing it. No lah, because this is the trick. Oh I I wanna ask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like well, I don't know how your voice is in the camera now. Hanging on by that guy's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this smug son of a bitch. You want to play a game? So I got it. I asked the lady, and then she got she uh, she was nice enough to get get me this. <laughs> it's so zoomed in. Oh, is it better? Yeah, that's better. So it has like coin pockets and stuff, like there. And we'll never forget the story of uh, how we got it. Yeah, I couldn't believe I could get dangled on this one. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Amazing. <laughs> da -da. We are in Yodobashi camera again and having I'm having kitsune udon. It has like spoon and Ryan's having tempura udon. Alright, Ryan. Try to uh, pour the stuff. Ding! Try to zoom in. There you go. Ryan's udon. My kids and they udon. Itadakimasu. Hello, Hello, we're back in hotel because it's super raining outside. Um, it's, like it's pouring and it, it's very windy. So it's a very like Vancouver-y day. Yeah, right actually, <laughs> so very Vancouver-y yeah, weather. Doesn't strike us as too bad, but it's not pleasant to be outside. Yeah, um, you know the light of that. Like next to bed, mm. I thought it was kind of weird, but you know what? It's perfect for vlogging. Really? Yeah. It, What's up? It's your boy Northern Lion. Oh my god. You ever thought about how parents just don't understand? Okay. Well, so today we got lots of stuff. Um, first, let's open the Japanese booster packs. Yeah. So we went to. Uh... You'll be wondering why we're on bed because the whole place is really small so there you go. Uh, we went to a building called Radio Kaikon and mm -hmm. it's like a hobby tower so let's imagine like a department store but it had like four different hobby shops every floor so there was a place called Big Magic which has like a ton of Magic the Gathering stuff. And then Not like many magic cards are that 
popular here because mm. it's kind of expensive. Not enough people are opening booster packs, I guess. So not enough people are selling singles. So I guess the magic scenes are not as big as you think it is. But um, I guess Vanguard. Vanguard. Force of Will, yeah, zillions of enemies. X, yeah, those are really, really popular. But in the big magic, we were able to get six of the booster packs. We got three of Jace, Jace, and three of Gideon. And uh, people will be like, "Why'd you buy Japanese boosters?" It's actually pretty common to play somebody who has a like a Japanese or a Korean or a Russian uh, card in their deck. It's just kind of a nice souvenir. In in Vancouver, at least. In Vancouver, at least. So, you want me to open all six right now? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you go ahead? We got two last night. We didn't make a video of it because, I don't know. We were, we were dead. We were very <laughs> tired. But we got like garbage item, like a garbage cards. Even just so. getting the basics though is uh, yeah. it's kind of a nice Easter egg. Because it's uh, Japanese. And then, okay, so when you open the Japanese booster pack, could you show it to my way? They are in They're inverted, in reverse. Yeah. So you start with the token. I guess that's an Eldrazi Scion. Uh, where do you want me to put it down? Here? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm taking okay. it from shot from your hand. And then there's the mountain. We actually got... Uh, Whoa! Mythic Rare right there! Mythic Rare. Can you sound out the Japanese at the top? Okay, wait, hold on. The focus is not... What does that sound? Oh, it must be the raindrops. It's not focusing quite well. Um, it's... Shinjitsu... Ku, what does it say? Kutsu, Shinjitsu Kutsu Kae Sumono. So, Truth Seeker or something? Oh, Truth Seeker. Or something like that. It's like Seeker of Truth or seeker something? Seeker of Truth? That's I cool. forgot it in English. Um, I don't know if that is the rainbow. I hope it is. Just show off. So, it's like uncommon. So, commons are way at the back. So, they actually, um, it's flipped. Yeah. It's just like the road that they're driving on. They drive it on the left instead of right. Wacky, wacky people here. Well, London is like that too. They're wacky too. <laughs> I don't know if UK version of Magic is like that because I don't think there's UK version. I think it's, um, what is it? Just like they're adapting the American one. Yeah. Also, the point I want to make, this... You cannot really see well, but if you can see, there's like a shine through or glaze through all these cards. They are actually higher quality than English cards. Um, they actually like I don't if I don't want to rip them, but <laughs> like you know how when you buy really high quality playing cards, like you think I'm bending this uh, token right here, right? But no, like it's actually pla like plastic coated. So it's really, it's like resistance of tear and feels really good. Like even the foil one, it's like that, like feels really good. I don't know how to explain it, but it definitely does not feel the same as American version. So that's a one thing, like a plus. I'm not going to go through all of them here, but uh, there's your land. Hey, sign. it's and the heat My favorite card. If you want to confuse your enemy, don't just play uh, for heat I know what it play four Japanese Hedron Alliance. I know what it does. Like, if you this and then um, use one mana, was it one colorless and one blue, you get to draw one. A uh, scry. A scry one. And then if you have, if you draw another card of that, you automatically win. No, it's, it's, uh, if you play this card and you have one in your hand, graveyard and exile. Oh, right, okay. Then you win automatically. Yeah. So it's a win condition that's basically impossible, but one day someone will crack <laughs> the code. Someone will crack the code. And then if someone plays infinite obliteration, you lose instantly. So we got like a uh elemental, I guess. Token, yeah. Yeah. Another forest. Ooh. Ooh that's it's foil. A foil, which means there could be Oh, uh, it's the I I or Isle. Oh, yes. So the foil is like, oh, it's it's not really focusing well. It's a pretty card, though. But it feels really good. Like, you would be like, okay, hey, you're folding them. Like, I'm not, actually. It, it's actually resistant to bending. It feels so good. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Commons, commons, commons. Keep the... 
Keep the train rolling. Train rolling. I'm pretty happy so far. I mean, one mythic per six packs. Let's is get the expedition. I don't even want expedition, expedition will be literally the first thing you will see they're, after uh, the token. They're I think, English and only the anyway, so. Yeah, you tricked me because then I pulled the token and I saw a land and I was like. <gasps> Why are, why are you showing it like that? Could you just show it off well, from your hand? You know what? There's a, a foil rare. Oh! So be careful with your attitude. It's or like I'll the. Keep it for um, myself. Is that the mirror? Um, is it Eldrazi Mimic? Eldrazi Obligator. Oh, I think that's it, Something yeah. Something like that. I'm to put this over. Oh my god, we needed that! Kozilek's right? return! Oh. It's so good! I got I got my ass kicked by this card. This card oh, is oh freaking storm chaser mage. Dude, this card pack. this card is actually pricey. Um, last time I checked was 15 USD. Wow, girl, in the same pack, foil oh my rare, Kozilek return. Holy and, crap! Uh, I'm so storm chaser. I'm mage. going to use Kozilek return in my deck, and then they'll be like, "What? What does it do?" Yeah, I'm we, like, "We should buy an English version so we can <laughs> reference it." I know what it does. It damaged the um, monsters, and then if you have like Eldrazi, it, it comes back to your hand mm. or top of your deck or something. So it just keep killing the opponents, like basically board control forever, which is super annoying. -da. Another Eldrazi Scion, Swamp. Ooh, oh, oh, this is okay. I think it's two dollar. If I remember correctly, it's seeing a lot of play right now in those uh, ramp decks. Yeah. And there you go. We got a bone saw. I don't think I'm gonna even throw away the commons because it just feels so good. <laughs> feels so soft. It's like and baby this is, skin. This is the final pack. Another Eldrazi Scion. A Plains. Oh man, that's the worst. That's the worst? That's the worst rare. It's like 50 cents. And there's your... I think this card. one uh, is at least in like draft. It's well, well mm. uh, used. And that's uh, that's that, but we can't. That's really complain. okay because Kozilek's return. It might be actually the price might have uh, ramped up a little bit. So I also like I always get these confused. The first one we got because there's like Reality Smasher, and then there's uh, World Breaker and End Bringer, and I don't know which one. They're <laughs> in me in my mind. It's all means the same. Smashing Reality is the same as breaking your world. That's oh my god. We I you know remember last time when we played Friday Night Magic and mm. I told you like my opponents were using um Kozilek's return. Yeah. And it was so annoying and I was asking if we had one at home and we didn't. So I thought maybe I should have get the singles. Bam! At least one of them I can use the um what is it? Japanese version. Mm -hmm. Very happy with that pull. And I think it was like par with um, the money that we spent to get this booster packs, which yeah. was six. So the other the other six one packs. is uh, money in the bank and the foil rare, which might be worth. Also, this was mythic as well. Yeah, this is mythic a, rare. You know what? Why don't you keep the camera talking? I'll look it up. All right. Um, I will show you guys. I'll what we got here. It's wet. <laughs> So, I don't really want to bring it on the bed. And the reason why we're flaming, flaming it on bed is because it's so tiny, the hotel room. So I got um, Villager from Yodobashi Camera. I'm going to open them up. I don't want to carry the box and stuff. It's way too big. And I got Ness. Because I'm planning to play all the Mother series or Earthbound series. Like, if you look closely of Ness, his eyes are kind of like way high up in there. Could you move the cards? I'm damaging them a little bit. And I got Famitsu. Uh, Famitsu is Japanese um, game magazine. It's like game reviews. It's weekly. It's the most famous uh, magazine. Has like a rubber band around it, so you cannot really see them. But it shows. Um, oh, this is the new Zelda, the remake of the HD. So it has all this like information. Um, Dark Souls Three. There you go. Ryan will go crazy there over you that. Go. 
um, Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Not only it has like a preview of all these games, it also have reviews. So I think that's the um, Harvest Moon, and also let's see. Oh, this is like um, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest Builder tips, I guess. So it has all that kind of cool things. I really like Famitsu. Um, it's a thing that I kind of collect a little bit, so that I will I will think about it when I was in Japan, and then oh, I remember that when I was there in Japan, and I had this and so read about it, and I got bam, bam, and oops. oh my god, bam! I got three of Animal Crossing albums, so it's Animal Crossing. Um, the amiibo cards and I'll co I collect amiibo cards just like I said previously um, and this is season 3 I have season 1 I have almost every hundred um, well one of each of a hundred in season 1 season 2 I'm missing quite a lot season 3 I barely have any so I bought the Japanese one booster packs three of that they only have three cards inside but one is always guaranteed rare. So in a way, it's good to get rares in Japanese version than American version, because American version, I think they have six cards inside. So, but it's not a great way to get the commons. Anyone wants to, anyone who goes to PAX Prime this year um, and collect Amiibo cards, if you want to trade with me, uh, let me know in the comment section below because I'll be in PAX Prime and I will have all these I will carry three album of um, Animal Crossing 1, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 and I want to collect all 300, one of a kind so we can trade, I, will, I don't mind trade Japanese card with English card um, Also, I got ta -da! So, Neko Atsume I don't know if you guys know, it's like a free to play um, like a cell phone game, you collect like the cats. Oh, I want to like zoom, like focus, but it's hard to do it when you're holding the camera. So it's Neko um, Gacha Machine. So it's keychain, and uh, I didn't even take it out because I don't play Neko where Nick, aka Rockley Smile, likes to. I, I remember him <laughs> saying that he loves Neko so I got that one, which was number five, and then it has like a Japanese nekoatsume with like a koi pond, and the cat is watching. And this was number one, the best one is the cat um, sleeping on the cushion, like here. So this was number one. This was like the like the hardest, like the rarest one to get, and I got it. I'm very happy, but I'm not gonna use it. I want to give one to Olivia. AKA Chatter Monkey, who does all the YouTube art on my almost nowadays at least nowadays nowadays he, she does um, all the YouTube art on my thumbnail videos so I want to give her one of that and I want to give Nick one of that because he is my friend so bam bam all right uh, Kate yeah I got some good news and some bad news okay. Kozilek's return yes. is like 8 US right now. That's pretty good. This is Eldrazi, or sorry, Dimensional Infiltrator. Okay. Foil is like buck fifty. Alright. This is Inverter of Truth. Okay. It's like a dollar fifty. Alright. And Storm Chaser Mage is also like a dollar fifty. Right. So it wasn't a terrible haul. And some of these are de uh, playable at least. Yeah. Kozilek's return especially. And. Oh my god. <laughs> so I got... We went to Don Quixote. Like, Don Quixote is like a department store. It has like the iconic penguin guy here. That's the Don Quixote penguin guy. And it's just a department store. It sells like a lot of cheap stuff. I got this. It's marshmallow and it has that, that face that, I don't know, all this like it's like a Japanese meme kind of face, and everyone loves to use it. And my, including Keru Keru, who is the longest subscriber and one of the first person to subscribe on my Twitch, also my friend colleague. Um, he loves that, so I got this marshmallow, so I can give it to him. And laundry soap, cause 
laundry is needs to be done. And wait. Uh, so and then we got the UFO. So this was the first one. Ryan got it in first. Uh, I mean not first, fourth or fifth try. Easy. It was the gacha. Not gacha, UFO machine that Should be called gacha. Um, and I got this on my fifth or sixth try. So this one has like the pass, so you can have like um, suika or some kind of pass behind it, and also has a zipper on top, so you can put coins in them, and you can like hook it up. And last but not least, the one that took the longest to get and like the most expensive to get could you help me open this up so this one i had to get it no matter what and i think this we spent five thousand yen which is about five can you open it up 50 bucks yeah which was like 50 50 dollar 45 usd oh i cannot really show it open it It also exists in the game world. It's the Moogle carpet. It's the Moogle carpet. And also exists in Final Fantasy XIV. In my Final... Uh, the FC house. In my FC house. Uh, I have this carpet on my entrance. And I think I'm gonna have this on my entrance as well. In our apartment. Because it's so cute! Ah! So this one was like $50 USD it, you know maybe it would have been less or more if you are good or worse at uh -huh. the UFO machine well we, we have the documented footage of the lady uh, yeah helping us a had, lot but she had to do so many adjustments to yeah. even get close herself so if, if you hadn't gone and been like hey this machine help is me. like yeah, <laughs> I need help that would have sucked up like hundreds of dollars. Today. Yeah, so that was we're crazy. we're very lucky. All right, we'll end the video here.